Let's play a game and imagine you have just been transported back in time to a medieval castle. Your clothes change, your hairstyle changes, and suddenly you have a strong sense of your own body odor. That's right. Welcome to medieval times. Next step is to roll the dice to see if you are either dressed in finery and furs or holding a chamber pot for a horrible master. I'm afraid today you rolled snake eye, one which means you are the low of the lowest. Forget trying to grow a presence on Instagram. You would be lucky if even your mother remembered your name. Since you most likely would have been given to the castle at a young age to work, that's where we are going to start. Back in ye old days, poor children were often taken from their small farm village life around the ages of five or six. They were then taken to the local castle or wealthy estate to work as servants. In order to contribute to the family as income or to receive food, shelter, and other necessities in exchange for their labor. As a child servant, there was no time for personal development. No schooling at all for these poor hard-working souls. After a long hard day of work, these kids fell into bed absolutely exhausted. They were expected to perform a variety of tasks from dusk till dawn, and generally speaking they could include some of the worst jobs in the castle, often responsible for menial tasks such as scrubbing floors, carrying heavy loads, getting into small spaces and doing work or just in the kitchen. It was in the kitchen they would have been exposed to most of the dangers such as hot fires, sharp knives, and potentially an array of abuse from anyone above them in the pecking order. The lucky ones may have served as personal attendants to members of the royal family or as pages in the royal court. If you were liked and seemed smart enough you may have moved your way up the servant chain to secure further work. Or you were simply kicked out without even a thank you. Let's say you stayed in the castle and managed to avoid being killed or abused too much but alas you have one of the most disgusting jobs at the castle. Leave us a comment as to which one you could have stomached doing. We have to start with the latrine cleaner. It is difficult to say exactly how many latrines a medieval castle would have had, as it would depend on the size and design of the castle, plus the wealth and status of the people who lived there. But you can guarantee there would have been plenty of work to do. It is likely that there would have been at least a few latrines available for the use of the castle's residents and guests. These latrines would have been located in the castle's privy, which was a separate building or room used for the purpose of relieving oneself. The privy would have been located away from the main living areas of the castle, often on the lower levels or in the outer walls, to reduce the risk of odors or pests. Some castles may have had multiple privies located in different areas to accommodate the needs of the people living and working there. There are several ways that a privy, or latrine, could be cleaned in medieval times. One common method was to use a shovel or bucket to remove the waste and deposit it into a pit or container located outside of the castle. This waste would then be disposed of in a safe and sanitary manner, often by burying it or by using it as fertilizer for crops. In some cases, the waste from a privy might be collected and used to produce methane gas, which could be burned as a source of fuel. Another method of cleaning a privy was to use water and a cleaning agent, such as vinegar or lye, to scrub the surfaces and flush away any remaining waste. This method would be more effective at reducing odors and preventing the buildup of germs and bacteria. However, it would require a reliable source of clean water which may not have been readily available in all areas. Regardless of the specific method used, the person doing the cleaning would seem to always smell horrific. On a daily basis you would be covered in stench and potential germs that would ultimately make them outcasts amongst the servants. A truly dirty and thankless task. Next up you could be a swine herd. Swine herds were responsible for tending to the castle's pigs, which often meant cleaning out their pens, feeding them, and protecting them from predators. This was truly a dirty and low-status job. A medieval swine herd's daily life would likely have been very hard and physically demanding. This work would have required the swine herd to spend much of their time outdoors, regardless of the weather. They may also have been responsible for moving the pigs to different pasture land as needed. In their free time, the swine herd may have had limited leisure activities to pursue they most likely had to perform additional tasks around the castle, such as repairing equipment or tending to the gardens. They may also have had to find their own food and shelter, as their job would not have provided them with these necessities. Overall, the daily life of a medieval swine herd would have been challenging and difficult, with few opportunities for rest or enjoyment.
Next up you could have been a charcoaler. In medieval times you would have been responsible for producing and selling charcoal. This was used as a fuel source for cooking and heating. Charcoal production was a labor-intensive process that involved cutting and drying wood, and then slowly burning it in a kiln or pit to produce charcoal. Charcoalers often worked in forests, and their days would have been spent cutting and preparing the wood, tending to the kilns or pits, and bagging and transporting the finished product. The work was physically demanding and dirty, and charcoalers may have had to work long hours in all weather conditions. They would have been paid for their labor, but their wages were likely low. Charcoal production was an important industry in medieval times, and charcoalers played a vital role in supplying fuel to communities. So a dirty job but plenty of people were thankful for your role, all right back inside the castle walls and onto another horrific job which was working in a medieval kitchen. Of course it would be either a scullion or a dishwasher. These poor individuals would have been responsible for tasks such as preparing ingredients, cleaning and maintaining the kitchen and its equipment, plus the never-ending task of washing dishes. They would work long hours for low pay and had very few opportunities for advancement. The work in a medieval kitchen was also physically demanding and potentially hazardous, with the risk of burns and cuts from working with hot fires and sharp knives. Of course, many kitchens would have varied due to wealth just like our times now, but slaving away in the hot kitchens day in and day out would have been simply horrible. Okay, back to another waste-related role, and that was the chamber pot maid. Life as a chamber pot maid in medieval times would have been difficult and unpleasant. But hey, at least you had a job. These maids were responsible for emptying and cleaning chamber pots, which were used as a toilet in homes, castles and other buildings. The chamber pot maid would have had to dispose of the waste, either by carrying it outside and dumping it or by transporting it to a designated area for disposal. This work would have been dirty and potentially insanitary. And of course the chamber pot maid may have had to work long hours for low pay. In addition to the unpleasant nature of the work itself, chamber pot maids often face discrimination and mistreatment due to the stigma associated with their job. As you can imagine chamber pots were pretty disgusting to handle all day long, and those who had to touch them were viewed as unclean or lower class. Chamber pot maids often struggled to find respect or acceptance within their communities, to the extent of difficulty in finding romantic partners or achieving social mobility. There you have it. On this list of vile roles you could have had in a medieval castle, which one do you think you could have managed? Most likely known at all and you are simply thankful to live in this century and are now able to scroll and watch another video.